Good morning, Bengals. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy Thursday. I'm Will. I'm, and I'm Katia. And now for your Bengal Nation news. Theater, Dance, and Choir Departments present Disney's High School Musical on February 24th and 25th. Get your tickets now. You can purchase tickets in the front office or online at TicketLeap.com. Get your tickets today. There will be a Lunch and Learn Lecture Wednesday, February 22nd in the auditorium during lunch. The topic will be domestic violence and open to any student. Bring your own lunch, but dessert will be provided. See Nurse Taylor in the health room if you have any questions. Do you know Senior William Stalker? Well, you should, and here's an excellent video by Junior Michaela Cato to tell you all about Will. William Stalker, a senior at Blythewood High School, has learned to juggle all of his responsibilities because of his involvement in numerous school activities throughout his years in high school. From acting as Ryan in this year's play, High School Musical, to singing in an advanced level choir, William, more commonly known as Will, lets his love for the fine arts program shine through all that he is involved in. While it seems like he has been singing and acting all of his life, he only started acting when he came to high school. For singing, it was when I was little. Um, acting, I wasn't really much of an actor. Um, I, I did drama one my freshman year, but I thought that would like help me get into acting, and it really didn't, but um, my first time acting was Your, Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, my sophomore year. Will did not just have any role in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. He played the role of Schroeder, who loved playing the piano. In High School Musical, he will be playing the role of Ryan, who again is a lead character. It's not really hard, in a way. I mean, you do have a lot of stuff to carry on your back but otherwise than that if you do what you're if you do what you're told and you actually know what you're doing is that it's not that hard it's actually pretty fun it can be hard juggling curricular and extracurricular activities however will somehow manages to do it all he has a job at bilo is in the acapangles which is an acapella group that meets after school is in the bhs concert choir and has around the clock rehearsal <sighs> i don't know how i do it <laughs> but i just do um it's just more of a, I think this is not the right word to say, but it's more like an independent type of thing. I don't dedicate the right amount of time to everything because some of the stuff, I'm not going to lie, I do kind of slack on some of the stuff. It's just that I know how to clean up and I know how to uh, carry myself when I do all that, all that stuff. So. Will thinks he does a good job of knowing when it is time to be serious and get his work done. His best friend, senior Erica Alford, who was in the Aka Bengals, the BHS Concert Choir, and the play with him, has not noticed him struggling. Um, for the most part, he's pretty good. I don't ever see him like say he's struggling. I mean, as far as like college now, but before that, it's pretty good. Miss Kristen Claiborne, the Blythewood High School Choir Director, has taught Will since he was a freshman. Over the course of the years, she has seen a complete change in a number of his qualities, but specifically his musical skills. Will now leads class warm-ups every morning and occasionally helps with conducting song pieces. Um, Will Stalker has grown in a multitude of ways from um, just maturing um, musically, um, people-to-people -people relations. So musically, which is the purpose of why I'm here initially, um, Will couldn't do anything when he got in choir when he was a freshman being honest. I mean, he could sing, he had natural ability, but in terms of understanding the vocal pedagogy behind singing, 
that's totally different now. Um, he can actually conduct and conduct pretty accurately for somebody who's never had conducting lessons other than me saying, hey, we'll do it this way. Um, he understands how chords work a little bit more. I mean, he's just, he's, he's grown in, in ways that I wasn't really expecting, ways that I didn't really realize he was soaking up for me that I was teaching. Um, I would see him do something in warm-ups that he leads every morning, and I knew that it wasn't something I specifically told him. It was something he had just heard me say to somebody else or to the group as a whole, and he figured it out on his own, which was really interesting. While he emits true leadership skills, being in these programs has truly allowed him to make great friendships. Very, 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 very close. That is my best friend. Um, I don't know. It's just we have so much in common. Like, funniness. Not funniness. Play together. There go, right there. <laughs> hand in hand. We, I don't know. We're just very similar. Even Claiborne has noticed his change in friend group because he is able to identify with so many people. Will has just expanded his friend group. Um, and choir now, if you just look, just specifically in, in first period, if you look at him, um, Will used to hang out with like the same three people. But now, Will will run to this group, he'll fall out of the group, bounce on over to this group, and every group embraces him the same way. Um, and so that says a lot about the relationships that he's he has worked to build with different types of people. He's not just stuck with one group all the time. He's kind of branched out and, and has friends, you know, in, in multiple multiple areas. So that says a lot. Will loves his friends and considers most of them to be more like family. Um, I made a lot of friendships. Um, uh, the one that I have that I really love the most out of, out of everybody, I call them my family, because we just tight like glue. If anything happened, we ride on each other. Um, if anything bad happened, we're right there. If anything that's going on, we're right there. Um, it's it's a lot of us. I got so many names from Quiet Kickback, Bam Bam, Sausage and Ham. You want a big part? Makes no sense, but yeah, that's the name. Will has truly become an example of how school can be more than boring. Surrounding himself with the right people and finding what he loved, Will has managed to make his high school years memorable and to make friendships that will last him a lifetime. Reporting for BHS War Nation, this is Michaela Cato. Great job, Will and Michaela. Students, Rita Latte is back. Come to the Library Cy Cyber Center, read a book and write a review, and receive a ticket to get a free latte on Friday at lunch. Sip your latte while listening to music by local artists. Lattes will be sold for $1. Also fill out the contest form where you identify the 25 famous African Americans posted in the glass case in the Cyber Center. If you can identify all 25 and turn your form into the circulation desk, you will, you will receive a prize. Seniors, the admissions counselor from USC will be here um, Thursday, February 23rd at 9.30 to speak to students who applied. If you have questions or concerns, please plan to attend. See Ms. Mudger to sign up. Attention seniors, senior night is coming March 10th. There will be lots of fun activities that night. Do you like to play basketball? Do you want to watch your classmates go head to head in basketball tournaments? If so, come to the atrium at lunch and purchase a ticket for senior night. Or pick up a packet to play. Senior night is on March 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $5 per person and $15 per team. Make sure you sign up now to play because spots are limited. Um, guys, you should come out and support. There'll be food, music, and the game. Remember, it's for seniors only. Prom tickets will be sold at $55 this week only in the atrium. That's all for news, now to sports. Good morning, I'm Noah with your sports. Congratulations to the boys basketball team for defeating Stat Stratford last night. Trey Jackson led the team in scoring with 22 points and Cam Riley he each score and Robert Braswell each score 12 points. The Bengals will play at home this Saturday night at 7 p.m. against Somerville. Come out and support your Bengals. The athletic department ha has student spring sports passes for sale. The pass is $30 
$50 for 15 purchases to any spring sporting event. This is a $75 value for $30. Contact Coach Mizell or go to the main office if you would like to purchase one. The baseball team is having a beep barbecue fundraiser this Saturday. See any member of the team for tickets or to talk to or or talk to Coach Falker for more information. Also, good luck to the JV and varsity softball teams scrimmaging at airport and the boys, bar, boys varsity team soccer team at Richland Northeast. Come out and support. Come out tonight to cheer on the JV and varsity girls soccer teams in their scrimmage against Palmetto Academy beginning at 5:30. That's all for sports. Now to weather and birthdays. What's up? I'm Katia with your weather and birthdays. It's currently 42 degrees with thunderstorms. The high for today will be cool. 59 degrees with sunny skies. Expect a similar day tomorrow with cooler temperatures in the morning and with the high of 52 degrees tomorrow afternoon. That's all for weather. And now let's wish happy birthday to those who are celebrating today. Jane Estep, LaDrea Lines, Reagan Laurie, and Aramis Woods. That's all for today. Have a great day, Bengals.